नमस्कार आई एम सुधा आचार्य प्रिंसिपल आई के पब्लिक स्कूल न्यू डेली डियर चिल्ड्रन आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस विथ यू अबाउट द मेंटल वेलनेस मेंटल वेलनेस व्हिच इज कंप्राइज्ड ऑफ इमोशनल साइकोलॉजिकल फिजिकल सोशल एंड स्पिरिचुअल वेलबींग आई एल डिस्कस अबाउट इंटेलेक्चुअल वेलबींग ऑल्सो we are going through an unprecedented time of health emergency covid-19 which is spreading throughout the world it is a global phenomenon now all the children all of us throughout we are confined to our homes so it's a very stressful very anxious time period for all of us but we have to make best out of it and we can so today i'll give you some strategies how to deal with this situation children i know you are sitting at home very anxiously waiting for your result some of you are still waiting to appear in the board exam and the little ones do not know how to spend their time and our parents they are also going through this traumatic phase they are go- they are also working from home and lot of burden on them managing the household and managing work pressure so in this time there are five six strategies which i want to discuss with you number 1 is follow a routine or schedule without going to school you think that there is no need to wake up early we can watch tv endlessly we can play video games but i would request you follow a flexible time schedule which should be made by you only so wake up and three things i'll stress on here while following a schedule that is exercise healthy diet and sleep hygiene so when you wake up please do some yoga exercises do some aerobics dance sessions some exercises for different parts of your body have a healthy diet full of vitamin c and you know zinc boost your immune so have a healthy diet do not hog on junk food and you should sleep sound sleep is very much required 7 to 8 hours so please take care of your exercise diet and sound sleep second point i would stress on learn a new skill or acquire a new skill this is the time when you have enough time at your hand so you can learn a new skill new activity like you can do a creative writing course you can do some brain gaming sessions you can learn a new language or if you have some hobby go on practicing more and more to achieve perfection so learning a new skill is a must to utilize this time period in the best possible way third point i would say that is family time creating a happy family time where our house should be anger free zone we should agree to disagree engage in such kind of activities where all family members would come together like praying together exercising together preparing family lunch dinner breakfast together or discussing good old memories of family members which brings us happiness so be a provide a be a be a provider of happiness to each other support each other you know children sunflower they always look towards sun sign but in cloudy rainy days they face each other to give strength to support each other so we can give strength and support to our all family members by cooperating next is practice gratitude to be grateful makes you a kinder person a more empathetic person and you feel happy from within so be appreciative of the efforts done by essential service providers doctors nurses police people our banking professionals all of them are working hard to make us safe we are at home healthy and leading a safe life because of them only be grateful to your parents to your siblings so when you be grateful you move towards a fearless stress free life next point is be a great help to your grandparents if you have plants and pets take good care of them if you have elderly family members especially your grandparents you can give them medicine on time help them to do their daily activities so that you can relieve some burden of your parents learn from their vast experiences they can learn a thing or two from you also so elderly people you should must take care around you next one is 
practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness means to be aware of ourselves at the present. So you can be mindful by uh, minding on your breath or while eating to be grateful what you are eating who has made that food with love and affection so mindfulness to be mindful makes you very calm and composed you can apply your mind in a better way you can think you can create you can critically analyze things so mindfulness is a very good practice please follow that next is maintain a diary diary is a space where you can vent out your emotion, your feelings, your experiences. When this challenge is over, I'm certain this is going to be over and you come back to your diary and read again, then you can find out how you dealt with this challenge. So this time is going to get over. And the best part is your teachers, even though they are not trained, they adopted so well and they are using technology so well, which is available to us. Every day they are trying to connect to you. They are trying their best so that you do not miss out on your education. Not only academics, every day you should be engaged in some academic activity. Not only your subject matter, you can read a good book, you can do a book review also, read a good novel or magazine or newspaper online do some academic activity for intellectual stimulation. So your teachers are every day giving you some sessions, some lessons on the basis of your curriculum of course and then some life skill sessions also. Every day they are telling you how you can survive, how you can deal with the challenges. If you believe that you can, all of us we can. Please move from human being to being human. Be humble. Be polite, be empathetic. We can create a sustainable earth, definitely. Thank you.